die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is part 25. I suppose before I leave, I better see how far I am from camp. Eh, far enough. Except I can't, uh... Oh, he's up here. Alright, we're going up there then. Thought I was heading back to camp. Guess not. And if you missed last episode, got to see a giant gator. Idiot. We didn't kill it. Pumped a bunch of lead into it, but didn't kill it. Got my bounty paid off. Good morning. Hey there! <clears throat> That's a nice horse. Thank you. It is. Anyway, so I paid the bounty off and we're going in for some revenge. And then, I suppose, we will rob the bank. which was quite a few years ago now. I want to say there was a ghost down here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I saw one. I hope we're bringing Lenny and Charles, not Micah. So, Dutch, what's the Bill. heady lock anyhow? I have no idea. But I hear it's paradise. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. Down. At least we got John and Lenny. <laughs> Bill's okay. Hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Arthur is getting sick. Hey, you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. And I forgot about that. Damn it. Uh, 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 uh. 
Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go. Wonder where the hell he's gonna be. You see those two? Stay out of sight. You got a shot on him? Something creepy about these statues. Yeah, but. <laughs> Don't we want to be quiet? I guess I'd better use that. Arthur! It's like someone's looking at you when they're not. I'd get rid of them. I'm surprised we're doing this so amazing. Arthur. What, you guys can't? Holy shit. Good. Now take that damn door in. Look out! I missed him. This ends tonight! He's either up or down, probably up. Back up? Probably not. Oh, Ken, sweet. I just, I just wanted to look at the ledge. Okay, Gotta let's check every room. Proof neck. Hey. I, 
No, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... <laughs> Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can awesome. carry it. I ain't touching that piece of shit. I'm gonna load him. 159 bucks. That ain't bad. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. No. Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. No what are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <gasps> filth has got to be disposed <gasps> of. Our friends, the Pinkertons, are going to come and rescue you, you <gasps> repulsive little maggot. <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Call them now. You call them! Ooh. Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Plus, he won't leave any traces.
But there's not looking too good. Not at all. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning to you. Nobody I'm looks happy. You, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you well, need. Except him. I don't like it. Good morning. You okay? Yes. Howdy, Tilly. Lenny, what the hell are you doing? There he is. He was Morning. You need to put some clothes on if you're out there working. Between you and me, I'm nervous. I suppose, I suppose that's it. You're never nervous. That's been my job all these years. I know. <laughs> well, let's go talk to Dutch. Certainly. Jim? The bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? Hmm. It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here. We know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute Properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. Hmm. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within... Six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! Huh? This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? Yeah. What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? Is he in camp? Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard, stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. 
Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah. I wonder if we can do the radio controlled sub thing again. Or boat or whatever the hell it was. That was pretty cool. I guess it wasn't a sub because it didn't go underwater. But it looked like one. Nice and easy through town now, boys. That was pretty cool. Howdy. <laughs> they all looking like, what the frick? Yeah, we don't look suspicious one bit. Let's hitch up here. Uh, maybe you want to put that gun away to me. Robbing thieves? It ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this had better work. Looks like there's oh. law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Y'all don't look suspicious one bit. <laughs> oh. I love that Hosea! <laughs> <laughs> Should have done that one first. Crap, I only got one. Think we got a problem out here? Of course. Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! No. Dutch! Crap. Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed. You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? 
Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! No. No. no! Oh, God damn it! There's your deal. Dutch. Who's there? Damn it. Holy shit.
lost John. Killed? Arrested. What? I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. So if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Trump. Get out! Shit. He's, he's dead! Oh no. god, no! Damn it! There's nothing we can do! We gotta keep moving! Why can't that have been Micah? Won't oh, get up. Get down. All of you, we gotta keep quiet and keep moving, or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. We gotta keep moving, quick and quiet. Come on. Like ah! Batman. Everyone clear the air out. We got the law below. Watch out. Lenny. I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. Somebody snitched on us. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Pathetic. Well, that went smooth. Mm-hmm. That shot like crap. Okay. Follow me. And keep your heads down. Maybe Highness will edit it out. It was terrible. Boats! Come on! Guards up ahead. What now? Just wait a second. Instead of the Mavis, the rats will have to come out of their old adventure with it. We should have had them in Blackwater. So that won't happen again. They'll have got men on every street. Looks like they've stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on. Rest you. Follow when it's clear. Someone's coming. Look out on the left. Stay low. Damn. Those look like pallets, benches, real comfortable. Someone's coming. Duck. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton yeah. said, Milton said a lot. Come 
come on, I won't be out here all night. Can't believe it didn't see us. Okay then. Shit! Stop, Arthur. Oh damn it! We're never gonna get past these fellas, Arthur. Head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. I'm not hiding behind that thing. Everyone stay down and keep quiet. We've wasted enough time on these fools. Spencer said See them? two of them are dead. Sure. Yep. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently, so... When they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I yeah. like it. Real brave. I'm what? gonna lose Charles. Oh. Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. Oh, they don't kill him. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. Charles. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Uh, can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. Mm. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money? and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. 
I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done mm. and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? No. Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! That we crashed there for a second. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. Things haven't been going too good for us. Money's gone too. Uh, where the hell am I? Cuba. Gilligan's Island, probably. Man, I thought should have. Picked a different career. Looking too good there, Arthur. <laughs> Feels like Death Stranding now. That's a good run.
bad. Too good for us, unfortunately. Other than we got a nice beach to be on. Arthur, maybe you should just stay right here. I would be better off. There's a smoke. Yeah, I saw it. I can't run. Uh, oh, it's my uh, friend. Boys, you're alive. Arthur, you're, you're alive. <laughs> Thank God Mike is alive. Okay. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is I just live here. near Australia or Tahiti? Yep. It's on the way, I guess. So, oh, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Now we're going to a work camp or something. Holy Let's crap. Go. We got another group rounded up down the way. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. He's strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to see the crowd. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la casa, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, 
Dispárales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now? Aiden, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, I can for now, hear you. We're stuck, Ben. Aiden. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. He's drifting over. Ooh, what a view. people who knows well they got them chained and lashed but they don't look too dangerous excuse me sir who are our new friends here <laughs> criminales what crime did they commit insurrection <laughs> insurrection that's quite a word Cállate, señor fuentes Muévanse. todos oh boy the train's getting bigger Going to work in a Nike factory. Gonna be putting a bunch of kids out of work. Enforcements. Oh, dear. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Fabit, everyone, mm. follow me. Rick, Fabit, come, come, come. Ah. 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 Get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Oh, don't leave. Hey, we gotta move, Dutch. Go. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Damn it. Go, go. <laughs> Don't hit the belly, it's a pretty big target. Come on, Arthur! Crap. Quickly! I have some gun stashed here. Come! Hey! This 
What are you doing here? I have Getting no idea. Kicked. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we on? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. I want to eat Javier oh. back. Who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusar, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusar's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusar's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Oh. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the what? only one who can arrange a boat for you. But mm -hmm. I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers and then come meet me at the fort. Will you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting carefully. Bill's passed out. Micah needs to button his shirt. I think I'm gonna stop it here. Good point. Well, maybe not. Wait till he's done talking. I guess he's done. Welcome to the new world. All right, I do want to stop it here. Well, I appreciate you watching. Can't say that went smooth one bit. I guess the one dude didn't get eaten by that alligator, so that's one good thing, but man, lost Lenny, Jose, probably Charles, probably Jose, or uh, Javier, jeez, can't even think. Duh. I don't know if we're gonna get him back. Anyways, I do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this mess. <laughs> yeah, what a mess. Well, uh, hit the thumbs up if you liked it. I wanna thank my patrons. Patrons. I always say that wrong. And I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye.